Oh, ciao, welcome, uh, benvenuti to uh, il mio balcone a Bologna. Welcome to my my beautiful uh, view, my balcony in Bologna. I'm uh, so uh, so happy to uh, still be here for a few more weeks. Uh, uh, almost time to uh, head back to Florida and enjoy springtime there. But uh, but for a few more weeks, I get to enjoy. Uh, a little bit of Bologna. Uh, winter has returned here. It's gotten cold again, so uh, that's why the scarf and the wool coat. Um, and uh, you know, it's um, it's you know the weather. If you don't like the weather here, stick around for a few minutes because it's going to change. It was just a couple days ago. It was shorts and shirt sleeve weather, weather, and now it's uh, now it's cold and uh, and a kind of gray outside. And, uh, you know, things change. Well, today's video is going to be uh, about it is about the uh, the markets and the market system and uh, how you shop in markets, how markets work, uh, why markets are important, and uh, and uh, let me say that here in Bologna, it's a city of markets. There are indoor markets, there are outdoor markets, there are some markets that happen every day, there are some markets that happen a few days a week, there are some markets that happen only at night. Or only in the evening, uh, and they're all over the city. And uh, one of my goals is to discover new ones, and I've been doing a pretty good job at that, uh, uh, both on this trip and on a previous trip. I've managed to find some of the uh, some of the more cool markets, I think, in the city, including uh, several uh, several bio markets, markets that specialize in uh, in local organic uh, and whole foods. Not the whole foods like in know America okay? a little different so uh, without further ado some photographs of the markets of Bologna and some from a bit further away so this is my favorite uh, weekly market it is Il Mercado Ritrovolto it's uh, outside of the Cinema Luminari uh, it's a beautiful market it's actually in two piazzas this side has prepared food the other side has fresh food this is the wine stand uh, all the uh, vendors in this market uh, are, make their own food. They, it's just, so these are homemade wines, uh, Sangiovese from the region. You pay a euro deposit on the glass and off you go. This is the fish stand and uh, in the prepared food section. They have tons and tons of different kinds of fish, some cooked, some not. Uh, if you find a piece of fish you want that's not cooked, you tell them how you want it cooked and they have a grill and they have fryers and they have saute pans and so on and they will cook it how you want it and it is delicious and it's fresh and it was caught that morning. This is the other side of the market where the vegetable stands, where the cheese stands, where the meat stands are, a piazza right across the street. And in between the two piazzas, there's a place for a musician to sit and play. And at this particular market and many uh, street markets, there's a musician that comes and performs during the thing. This is very cool. This is the open forno. This is the open oven. And it's in the market. People can bring their their uh, their bread, their bread doughs. You can see a bunch of bread doughs on the table there getting ready to go in. They fire this wood-fired oven up and uh, as a service to the community and you throw in your bread or they throw in your bread, the, uh, the oven operator does. And uh, you do your your marketing, you go across the street to the other side of the market and get your uh, get your produce, get your cheese, get your meats or whatever, and whatever you like, and then come back uh, and your bread is baked and you take your fresh uh, wood-fired oven-baked bread home with you. It's a great idea, one that I hope to, uh, to bring to my community in Florida when I return in a few weeks. Il Mercato Rotovolto, Ritrovolto, is open Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. and is also, uh, in, that's in the, in the cold months, in the, in the warm months, in the summer. It's open, I believe, Monday evening starting at 5. A wonderful market. If you're in Bologna, you should not miss it. This is a nice little street market uh, on Sunday mornings in uh, Piazza Carducci, uh, which is, uh, um, you know, all of Bologna is a, sm it's a small place, so there's easy to get to everywhere. This particular market is a bio market. It has cheese, it has meats, uh, uh, salami, you know, charcuterie of different kinds, uh, honey, and it has wine. And uh, some of my favorite wines that I've purchased in Bologna have come from this market. Uh, the market's at Piazza Carducci on, uh, on Sunday mornings. It's a beautiful market. It's open year-round.
This is a small market, uh, it's really just across the street from where I'm living. It's a uh, Via San Vitale. It's open several days a week, different markets on different days. Uh, this particular day was a beautiful spring day, and of course they had flowers out. In the meantime, it's gotten cold. So this is the Monday night market. It's at Piazza Verdi, Piazza Giuseppe Verdi, which is off Via Zamboni. It's every Monday night or every Monday evening. It uh, goes until about uh, 8 or o'clock or so, 9 o'clock in the evening, uh, depending. And uh, uh, it's uh, a market that's a bio market. It's strictly things that were people grew themselves, uh, made themselves. There's uh, cheese and vegetables and different meats. There's prepared food, uh, sandwiches and sweets and so on. Some amazing bread. A uh, guy that does goat milk products, uh, yogurt. There's people that bring eggs and so on. It's a wonderful market and it's one that uh, that you shouldn't miss. Uh, it's in the student square. There's a lot of tables there. People are sitting, playing music, having discussions. This guy is the beer maker and he uh, not only does he make the beer, he grows the barley for the beer. He malts the barley and he grinds it up and uh, he um, makes the beer and serves it in the market. The licensing laws are quite a bit different here in Italy for alcoholic beverages. Uh, he makes two kinds of beer that I've, I've enjoyed. One is a, uh, a Belgianish a Belgian -ish ale, uh, not quite as, uh, as amazing as the Belgian ales from Belgium, but still pretty good. He also makes an IPA, which would have standing in any hipster beer bar in America. IPA is the Italian word for IPA and his IPA, his IPA is delicious. His beers are not very expensive. A piccolo cost about two fifty, and a grande uh, cost about three three fifty something like that. You pay a dollar deposit for the glass uh, and take it with you to the market and drink your beer. And when you're done, you bring it back, and he gives you your euro back, and everything is okey dokey. So I uh, had a change of venue. It was a little cool outside on the balcony, and I came in to uh, finish up this last part of the video. And I uh, hope, uh, hope that you've enjoyed what I've shown you so far. Uh, I've been talking about mostly the street markets, uh, but there are also indoor markets, and the indoor markets are also fantastic uh, and worth, uh, worth checking out, worth visiting. Um, my, uh, in here in Bologna, I think I mentioned earlier the uh, Mercado de Herba, which is on uh, Uobasi. Uh, one of the main streets of the city. It's a big uh, indoor market that has a bunch of different stalls and all kinds of good food. But there are markets that are further afield that you're accessible by train here from Bologna. The train station in Bologna is a, has a lot of connections and the uh, rail fails, fares if you take the trains correctly and use the right trains. They're very inexpensive. Uh, there's a beautiful market in Modena. Uh, Modena is uh, the city where balsamic vinegar, Aceto Balsamico, comes from, and uh, it's a uh, it's an amazing market. It's a morning market, uh, and uh, you know you should of course check to make sure it's open on the day you want to go. I think it's open most days, but uh, but check to be sure. I believe it closes at twelve or one, and it's an amazing market. However, um, uh, to end this uh, video, I'm going to show some uh, some photographs of a market that's located in. Um, uh, Florence and Firenze and talk a little bit about how you order something, how if you're going to go to the market stall and you want something, uh, you know, how you indicate what you want and kind of what the protocols are and stuff like that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will, we'll end it with this uh, little tour of the uh, Mercato Centrale in Firenze, a Firenze in the beautiful city of Florence, the touristic city of Florence. So this is the Mercado Centrale, which is uh, located in downtown Florence, a place that has beautiful, beautiful vegetables. I want to say a little bit about ordering vegetables, uh, whether you're in a market or in a uh, grocery store, you never touch the vegetables yourself. In fact, in the market, uh, you just tell them what you want and point to them. And, uh, and then the uh, vendor will get them for you. If you're in a grocery store, there's a package of gloves sitting next to the, uh, next to the produce. You put a, a plastic glove on and you pick the produce you want. You put it on the scale. You, you know, you punch, you punch the right number in and it prints out a label. You put the produce in a bag, put the label on the bag, and then you take that to, uh, to the casa, to the checkout, and, uh, and you pay for what you got. But you never, never, never touch vegetables. That would be a very rude thing to do. So between the stands in the market, there are workstations. This lady is trimming some vegetables to make them uh, more appealing to, uh, to put on display at her, uh, at her family's food stand.
Of course, there's much more than just uh, produce in the market. This is probably the biggest display of biscotti I've ever, I've ever seen. You can see that it's $19 per kilogram, and that brings up uh, how you order food in the market. It is a little bit of a trick. And the way you do it is you do it by, uh, by the etto or the etti. Uh, an etto is 100 grams um, because, you know, buying a kilogram, that's, uh, you know, 1,000 grams is probably more than you want, but an etto might be about the right amount to get an etto or dui ette. Uh, you, it's easy, so you tell the, uh, the vendor what you want or you point to it or pronounce the word as best you can, which is what I try to do sometimes, and then uh, say, I, uh, you want, they will, you uh, ette, un etto, and they will uh, go ahead and measure it out for you and wrap it up and give it to you to take with you. That's it for this, uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed my brief look at the markets and uh, please excuse me as usual for my, uh, all my incorrect pronunciations and misuse of the Italian language. I'm trying, I'm getting a little better every day. Uh, and sadly, I finished my, my period of lessons with my, uh, with my teacher, uh, but uh, happily it's because uh, you know, somebody important to me is coming into town, and uh, I'll be spending the next uh, three weeks uh, with her, and it's going to be pretty wonderful. So uh, I hope that uh, you stay tuned. I have another uh, video coming up in a little while about the uh, transportation, how to use the buses, the trains, how to rent a bike, uh, how to get around the city, which I think you might find useful. So uh, until then, uh, ciao, uh, ciao da Bologna. Uh, Sono David Davide in Italian, and I hope that uh, you uh, you come back and see more. If you want to be notified when uh, when uh, new videos go up, there's a little bell underneath there somewhere that says notify me. There's also a excuse me a subscribe button, and uh, and I'd be really happy if you did that too. Okay, so ciao. Uh, see you soon. Uh, talk to you later.